Isn't this setup cute? And that's definitely yesterday's date. I didn't change that yet. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I try to post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today, I'm hoping to start a new series, which isn't new to YouTube, but it's new to my channel. It's going to be my weekly wish list or washout, where I go through new beauty releases and let you know what I think about them. So everything that I'm going to be reviewing is going to be coming from Trend Mood's Instagram. I will be throwing pictures up so you guys can look along with me. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing that I see right now is the new Too Faced the whole unicorn collection. Mm, no, just the eyeshadow palette, it doesn't look that interesting. It looks muted. The colors are just kind of like blah. Um, everything looks so like kiddish, to be honest. The like, That bronzer thing with the unicorn on it, I don't even know how you would use that. The, all the lip all the lip products just look kind of gimmicky. That highlighter looks like that drugstore highlighter that came out that was rainbow a little while ago. Um, and just honestly, I'm I'm just really not interested in that collection at all. And I feel like they're coming out with that like a year too late. So the next thing I see is the another sneak peek. I don't know why they just can't show us the shade already of the of the Kat Von D Alchemist like little single highlighter. We still don't know like what the shade looks like of it yet. Um, once we see the shade, I'll actually make a decision either way, but I am a bit interested in it because I haven't tried any of Kat Von D's highlighters yet, but I have heard that they are a great formula. So once we actually see what the shade looks like, I'll be able to tell for sure whether or not I'm gonna get it. Next up is something that I was actually thinking about getting, but once I looked more into it, I talked myself out of it. It is the new Stila On The Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. Now, I did buy the first eyeshadow set that they came out with. I don't know if that was an- it wasn't an Ulta exclusive, but it was a set of three of the little shadows. I had the Kitten Karma, and it was a, this really nice silvery one. If I can find a picture, I'll throw it up here. But it came with three of their mini um, glitter and glows, and it was what introduced me to their glitter and glows, and I became obsessed with them. So after using that and loving it, I actually went out and bought a few of the full-size products. And I was going to get this new little three set, but then I realized I already own two out of the three in the set. I own a sample, the little mini one of Kitten Karma, and then another one in the set is Rose Gold Retro, which I just bought one of the full-size ones of that. I show it off in my Ulta haul. If you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. So that's not something that I will personally be picking up, but if you are interested, if you haven't tried any of the glitter and glows yet, I would highly suggest getting one of those little sample sets first. Now, something I'm not that interested in are these new highlighter sticks from Hourglass. Personally, I'm not a fan of anything other than a powder highlighter. I have a few liquid highlighters. I never reach for them. I never use them. So I don't see myself ever reaching for like a stick highlighter ever. So no. This next one I am super excited about. It's actually two palettes that are coming out from BH Cosmetics. They're called the Glam Reflection eyeshadow palettes and one is coming out in rose and one is coming out in smoke. Now the one I am definitely picking up is the Smoke palette. The colors are just beautiful, they work well together. I see a couple of different finishes in here that I could really work with. It's got a full-size mirror on the lid. It's not just like a little cutout, it's a full-size mirror and the packaging is just beautiful. So I will definitely be getting the Smoke one. The Rose one, if I'm being honest with myself completely, I don't need it because I have those shades in my collection and many many palettes but i got just the packaging and god i want it like I'm, I'm really thinking about it so i'm definitely getting the smoke one i'm trying to talk myself out of the rose one but i might be picking that one up as well oh and then lancome is coming out with a liquid highlighter as well definitely not into that for the aforementioned reasons but also i'm sure it's like a million dollars because lancome Okay, next I see the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collection. Ugh, I think this is already on sale. Like, just the palette, like, I'm sure they're going for something artsy and something new and cute, but it just comes across as clunky and unusable and not inspiring. And that, I can't get past that split pan. That split pan is so 
What do you do with a split pan eyeshadow? What? So that's it's a hard pass on that entire collection. I think they even have a vault version of it, which they shouldn't have. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to go over today, just to keep the video a little short, I'm sure it's already a little long, are the new Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. Now these, these colors, they all look beautiful. Like, I love how the finishes look, they swatch amazing, and they, they all really work well together. It is a great collection. But personally, I've had Super Shock Shadows, I've never reached for them. They're so clunky and a pain in the butt to store and personally they're not really worth it even if they're only they're like five dollars each it's not worth it i only have one shadow that i've loved to death and that i've actually hit pan on and i bought backups of and that's the sailor's shadow i'll throw a picture up and that one is it's beautiful like it's just nice it's the I can't, I can't even, like, I'm at a loss of words. That's the one eyeshadow where I wore it and my boyfriend was like, what are you wearing on your eyes? Like, it's, it's really pretty. It makes your eyes just, like, stand out even more. Like, and he's, I wear makeup all the time and he's never once commented on it, but he did for that eyeshadow. So that's the only super shock shadow that I ever reach for, ever. So while these are beautiful and while they're affordable, I know I will never reach for them, so I'm gonna just go ahead and pass on them. Okay, so that is everything for this week's wish list or washout. I hope if you liked this video, you go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I'll know. And I hope you'll subscribe to see my future weekly wish lists and washouts along with some of my other videos. So thank you for stopping by and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.